Okay, this is getting this is getting a little sketchy. Right here. That fire's climbing. I don't know if you can see that good in the video, but left flank. That left flank is not covered. I don't see anybody over here. Um, I am on Lake Boulevard. There's the sun. But I'm on Hilltop. It's giving me a better vantage of both the fires. But, um, I don't see anybody over there either. And those flames are climbing the hill. They should be at the top. Like any, like any second. Hmm. go again. This left flank here has me really worried because nobody is on this left flank right here. Nice. Coming up. Flames are already on that. The flames are already on that log. And the wind is now blowing in that direction. So, um, hope it doesn't get too bad. Is all good. That I don't know if you guys can see that really well, but that is smoking. Those flames are going to come up that hill any second. See that log on fire? See the flames up coming off the log on the ground right there? Nobody's on this side. Well, I hope so. Those flames are coming up the hill right now over here. Well, that would be a bad thing if it crossed. I would imagine. There are places over here that will and can burn. For sure. So this is still the lake and Masonic fire. We're just on the hilltop side of it. Again, that left flank right there is not covered. And the wind decided to start picking up. I don't know who that lady is that just said that, but, um, right, sorry, <laughs> right, I'm sorry, I shouldn't be laughing, it's, <laughs> don't lose our problem here, that's all I've got to say about that, let's just hope the fire gets out and everybody gets safe, and then they can go find somewhere else to camp, that'd be great. I'm worried about this left flank being not covered at all. You can really see the flames on that log. I don't know if I can get in the camera. I don't know if you guys can see the flames on this log here. There. There they are. God bless you, sweetheart. Sorry about the lady cussing. Anyway, really worried about.
about this left flank. I'm really worried about this canyon. This could be serious if that catches that dead tree beside it on fire and it jumps the road to that dead tree. It could be ugly. And with the wind picking up, I don't know what's going to happen down there. But, anyway. On the scene video, there's the left flank that I was talking about. That is untended. And that is growing exponentially since I started videoing. I'm going to pan out, show you the view, Lake and Masonic fire, I'm on the hilltop side, over in this direction over here is the Tamarack Lake fire, too. it's hard to see with this fire through all the plumes, but maybe that's that fire and this fire, and this fire. Oh good, we got it. Okay. Fireman out there. Cool. Hey, go cow fire. There he is. Our heroes. And bless their hearts. Without cow fire on the fire, you know you're gonna be alright. I got it. It's still catching back on fire. But I think they'll get a handle on this pretty quick. Smoke's starting to go away a little. That smoke over here. Just have it. That smoke over there is from the Tamarack fire. It's from the Lake Masonic. Anyway, this is Hurricane Heather Evans. I cannot, before I go, stress enough. You need to be prepared. You never know when stuff like this is going to happen. And those people up at AMPM are sitting there with the clothes on their backs and whatever they could grab before they got out of the house. Hero, there was one. But please, please be prepared for anything like this. She had a go bag by the door. This is exactly why, exactly why I'm so militant about prepping and training and knowing what you're going to do and having a plan, multiple plans. Because this could go multiple ways. You know? And it's a shame, you know, this was probably human started. So were the other fires, too. And you never know when things like that are going to happen. You know, and, and what about those 30 people at AMPM right now that are not prepared and were not prepared? I'm just videoing this, and my bug out bag is in my truck right now. And I'm nowhere, we don't. Well, I, I live a block and a half from this, which I'm, we'll be fine. Thankfully, this time, <laughs> we'll be fine. But please, like, please, really, stress preparedness. You know, get a go bag. Make sure you've got at least 72 hours worth of, like, prep, water, food, clothes, toys. If you have kids, dogs, or don't forget your pets, you know? If you're on medication, take your medication. Make sure you have something. Keep it by your door. I wouldn't suggest keeping a bottle of water in your vehicle, but I would suggest keeping life straws if your bug out bags in a in your car, like mine, one of mine. I still have one at the house. But this is why. When we stress preparedness, it's exactly why. There's a bunch of people up there that were not prepared to have the 
clothes on their back and what they could grab to get out. So, I'm going to quit the lecture on preparedness. I think you all understand. This is Hurricane Heather.